This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hi. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I'm sitting outside because I'm terrified of telling the story inside. Um, so I wanted to share a story that I had with a ghost or lower energy thing. Um, this is actually probably about a year ago, but the story is like probably the craziest thing that I've ever experienced. So I want to first start off by saying that I practice African spirituality, which where um, you do ancestor veneration, which means you invite the spirits of your benevolent ancestors into your home and you ask them to guide you and protect you. And I was practicing this for a while and then I started to develop spiritual gifts and things like that. Um, I preface that, I preface the story with that because I think this has a lot to do with why I had the experience that I did. So I was away at undergrad in um, New York and my family is originally from Louisiana. And when I came back for Christmas in 2018, I was in my house that I grew up in, didn't really have a problem with anything growing up, you know, never really had the creeps. But like I said, Um, this is something that came about when I started practicing my new religion, my new form of spirituality. So when I came back for Christmas, I had a terrible feeling every single day that I was in the house, even the first night to a point where I would stay up all night and I wouldn't go to sleep until 7 a.m. when the sun rose every single night and I had all the lights on at all times. I was even scared during the day when my mother was gone at work and I just felt a very, very hostile energy. I felt something just didn't want me there. I felt really uncomfortable. I was terrified and I just felt just something so angry at me for being there. So one day I was walking around the house and I was particularly scared, middle of the day, noon, sunshine, bright, you know, Louisiana weather, even in December. (laughs) Um, And I just felt really scared, more scared than usual. I felt like something was following me around the house. I felt like something was just really angry. Just It was getting worse. So I called my friend, my best friend at the time, and I was like, I'm so scared. Like, what are you doing? I want to leave. I want to leave the house. And then as I was talking to her, all of a sudden the phone cuts out completely and it's like very, very staticky. And I hear a voice screaming. And meanwhile, we were talking normally. This has never happened and has never happened since. So I hear a voice screaming through the phone, like a staticky voice screaming, go home, go home. (laughs) And immediately I hung up the phone. (laughs) I was terrified because it just kept screaming the same thing. Go home, go home. And like I said, I've never experienced something like like that before. Then I hung up the phone and I called my friend back and I asked her, did you do that? Did you say that? Like, what, are you alone? Like, she's like, no, I'm alone in the house. I don't, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, I just, I can't even tell you what I just heard. And then I told her, and she is not even a person who believes in ghosts. She's not even a person who's that religious. But immediately she started praying because she knew I wasn't lying. Even that night, I slept with my mom in bed because I was so scared. And I am 23 years old. And I felt the presence and I saw I saw a dark figure in the corner of the room staring at me as I was going to sleep, even when I was with my mom, with the cats, you know, in the bed, um, thought I was safe. But no, it was very, very, very angry that I was there. Um, And I couldn't sleep, couldn't sleep with my mom, couldn't sleep by myself. She actually ended up selling the house, moving to a different part of Louisiana, so I don't have to deal with this anymore. But I do believe that with me practicing my new spirituality and things like that, 
and getting more in tune with my spiritual gifts, I was able to be targeted or I was targeted. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.